Yo team! Wednesday's workout. So what we have in the <clears throat> non-equipment and limited equipment categories is that 14 minutes, okay, we have 14 minutes of an AMRAP, so as many rounds as humanly possible in that 14 minute workout. Now the aim here is that we maintain the same pace throughout all 14 minutes. Okay, don't start off like a superhero and then crash and burn. Pace the way through, and if you want to speed up in the last minute, you can. Okay, just don't go the opposite way. So, 10 strict handstand push-ups, 50 air squats, and 100 double unders. Those are your movements, okay? Now, what you're faced with there is a high skill strength gymnastics movement, okay, with your strict handstand push-ups. Your air squat, you're, not, you're never going to fail an air squat, and then you got your double unders, okay? So what we're faced with there is, you're probably going to experience some high level fatigue in the shoulders and the upper body. Our legs and our quads, um, they're going to be screaming, okay? Because 50 reps is a fair amount to just keep chipping through, and your heart rate's going to stay up there because of those double unders. So that's what you're going to experience. Your job is to maintain the same pace throughout that for 14 minutes, okay? On the strict handstand push-ups, if we're up against the wall, make sure we're squeezing those abs as tight as we possibly can. We're pressing through those shoulders as, as aggressively as we possibly can. Head hits the mat and we press back to full arm extension again. I want your core squeezed throughout the entire rep, so the only thing that touches the wall are your heels. Okay? Um, you can look up on the gymnastics class on Thursday nights to find out more information on those. Um, your air squats, as always, regardless of how fast you move, the hips go back, the knees track the toes, the feet stay flat at the bottom, hip below the top of the knee, and I stand tall and squeeze my bum. Regardless of how fast I move, that's how you're going to move, okay? Those are the standards. Then your double unders, chip through those, be smart, okay? Don't do a superhero set at the start and start tripping. If you have to go singles, same idea, go tall and slow singles. Um, if we don't have the rope or the space, you're going to go line hops or jump, jumping jacks. Um, if we're not quite there yet with the strict handstand push-ups, if we need to scale this, I'm allowing you to scale it with one mat or one cushion. Okay, we're not building a tower. It's pointless. Get yourself upside down in a piped position on the couch or on a chair or something like that. Or just do a hands on these push-up to just keep moving. At no point do I want you to go to failure on your handstand push-ups today, guys. Maintain the same pace. Let's get it. Have fun. Let's go.